In this video I'm going to show you how to make patterns for this dress. I'm going to show you step by step so that you can make it with your own measurements. So, let's get started. I'm going to mark a vertical line like this. From these lines we're going to work. So, on this line we're going to mark half the width of the back. In this case it's 19 centimeters. I'm going to mark the width of the neckline at 7 centimeters. We're going to make a front pattern. First, I'm going to mark the height of the neckline at 8 centimeters. First, we make the base pattern, then we transform it. For the armhole, I'm going to mark half the width of the back plus 3 centimeters. In this case it would be 22 centimeters. Bust height 26. Front waist height 45. From this point, I'm going to mark the height of the hips, in this case it's 20 centimeters. We're going to square these lines in the same way. It's the width of the back square. On this line, I'm going to go down 4 centimeters, the inclination of the shoulder. Then, I'm going to join these points. I'm going to mark the middle of this line. I'll make a point. At this point I'm going to enter 1.5. I make a dot, then I mark like this. On this line I'm going to mark the fourth part of the bust, in this case it's 25 centimeters. I'm going to form the armhole. In the same way, I mark my neckline. On this line I'm going to mark the fourth part of the waist, just without a dart. In this case it's 22 centimeters like this. And I'm going to join this dot with this dot. On this line I'm going to mark the fourth part of the hip, in this case it's 26 centimeters. There it is. From this point I'm going to go down 7 centimeters. From this point on each side I'm going to mark 1.5 cm for the dart. My dart is 3 cm wide. At this point I'm going to enter the bust separation. In this case it's 10 cm. I make a dot and then I form my dart like this. Like this. This would be our front base pattern. Have you seen how easy it is? On this line I'm going to go up 3 centimeters. And I'm going to mark this way on the side, at this point I'm going to go down 1 centimeter and I'm going to go out 2 centimeters. That's going to be for looseness, I went out too. At this point I'm going to enter 1.5. At this point I'm going to enter 2 cm so that the neck isn't too high. In the same way at this point I'm going to open 2 cm. There it is. I'm going to form a new armhole like this. Now, since this dress doesn't have sleeves, we have to make a corrective dart in the armhole. So, I'm going to do it this way. This depends on how much bust you have. The corrective dart goes from 1 cm to 3 cm. Here I'm going to mark only 1.5. In the same way I tell you that this armhole is going to have a bias. Now, from this armhole line I'm going to go out 1.5 like this.
and I'm going to go out 1.5 to the line, like this and I'll join it like this. In this part there will be buttons. At this point I'm going to enter 2 centimeters. What will it be? For the width of the B like this. Now I'm going to join this point with this point. I'm going to use a semi-curved ruler. Like this, look, see? It's not that straight. Now for the neck width, let's put 2.5 and I'm going to mark it so it's going to come up to this point. There it is, that's going to be my neck. So, I'm going to write it down here 2.5, here I entered 2 centimeters. From this point I also entered 2 centimeters just in case. Here I entered 1.5. Now this bust width I'm going to measure on this line and I'm going to mark a straight line like this. Now I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut along this line. I'm going to separate this. Then we're going to work. We're going to cut along this line. Now I'm going to open this line up to this point. Then we're going to close the two darts. Like this, see? Now we've moved the two darts down. That's why I didn't put the dart in the fourth part of the waist. So this opening is going to serve as slack. Here I have 4 centimeters. I'm going to leave that for clearance. Why did I increase it here in the bust by 2 centimeters? Because this opening doesn't reach the bust line. So I'm going to join this point with this point. Now here you have options. If there's too much room for you, you can decrease the measurement by entering from this side. If you don't have enough, you can increase. So I'm going to join this point with this point. Remember that there's going to be elastic at the waist. Now I'm going to cut. Now this buttonhole is going to have a facing. So we're going to mark like this. From this edge I'm going to mark 5 centimeters. 5 C 5. On this side I'm only going to mark 4 centimeters. Like this. So I'm going to shape it like this. I'm going to trace the facing right away. I'm going to trace it there. I'm going to cut it. You're going to cut this in two. You're going to put this like this, see? Like this. Then we're going to trace the collar. 
I'm going to put a little leaf like this. Now we're going to work on the bottom part. Artifalda. Here I'm going to increase it by one leaf like this. We're going to measure from this line without counting the button crossing. So, from this line you're going to measure how much there is up to this point. You measure with your measuring tape. I'm going to measure it with this ruler that is flexible. Here I have 26 centimeters. So that 26 centimeters I'm going to add on this line so that when I join it it can match, because I'm going to join it like this. So here I'm going to add the difference up to this point, up to here, you see? Now on the hip line I'm going to add 2 centimeters so that it's not too tight, then. So, I add 2 centimeters, like this. Then I'm going to measure the length of the desired skirt. So, from this line I'm going to measure 50 centimeters. This is optional. You mark the length of the desired skirt. I mark like this, 50. So, on this side I'm also going to mark the measurement of this hip plus 2 centimeters. In this case, it measures 28 centimeters, including 2 centimeters. I'm going to square it 28 like this. And I'm going to join this in a straight line like this because we already gave it some slack. Then I join this point with this point like this, see? There it is. To put elastic, I'm going to show you the easiest way. So now to put elastic. Let's trace this 3 cm width. I'll put it like this and I'll trace it. On this side you're going to cut in double fabric. I'm going to cut it all at once. There we have it. Now I'm going to cut the skirt. You're going to cut this skirt in double fabric. This way our front pattern would be. Now, how are you going to sew this little piece? This is going to go on the inside, it's not going to go on top here, but on the inside. You're going to put it like this. And you're going to put the blouse like this. That's how you're going to sew it, right? Once the blouse is joined to the skirt, you're going to sew this here like this on the wrong side. This one is going to be on the right side. You're going to put it like this. Then, once it is sewn like this, once you have sewn there, then you are going to fold it towards the skirt. Like this, see? And that is how it is going to be. And here inside there is going to be elastic. You can overlock this part and then you are going to close with a straight machine like this all the way around. You are going to put the elastic total waist circumference minus 10 centimeters. Now we are going to make a back pattern. 
Then we are going to trace the neck. We start with the back pattern. Here I made a right angle of 90 gr. So I am going to work back with 19. Neckline width 7 cm. Back neckline height. Right away we are going to mark 3 cm. 3. Armhole height, 22. Waist height, 42 centimeters. From this point I am going to mark the hip height, in this case it is 20 centimeters. Now I am going to square these points. I square this point in the same way. I am going to go down 3 cm. I am going to join these two points. On this line I am going to mark the fourth part of the bust. On this line I mark the fourth part of the waist. This way. On this line I mark the fourth part of the hip. There it is. I am going to give it the shape. At this point I'm going to go up 6 cm and form the armhole. This would be my basic back pattern. Now we're going to modify it for this dress design. On the front we go down 1 cm, we go out 2 cm on the bust line. There it is. Now we're going to add the same opening for clearance. I'm going to go out on the waistline because I'm going to use the same pattern for the skirt. And I'm going to join it like this. There it is. In the same way we have to mark 3 cm. Like this. There it is, see. Now we're going to cut along this line. There it is, I'm going to put it on one side. On the shoulder I'm going to enter 1.5. From the neckline I'm going to enter 2 cm like this and I'm going to form my new neckline. Like this. From this point I'm going to mark 2.5. The S is the width of the neck 2.5 and I'm going to form it like this, see? And I'm going to form my new armhole by joining this point with this point. Remember that the armhole in both the back and the front is not very low cut. That's why I'm only leaving 1.5. We cut. There it is. Now for the skirt we are going to use the same pattern for the front as for the back, because we have given it the same amount of room at the waist. Likewise, the blouse has the same amount of room. So, this little piece you are also going to cut for both the front and the back. So, here you are going to cut in double fabric and you are going to cut in two, one for the front and one for the back. Now we are going to make the collar. I'm going to cut the collars like this, see? 
I cut like this. This is the back. This is the front. There it is. So this shoulder, with this shoulder you have to join, right? So you are going to turn like this. Look, see, like this. Shoulder to shoulder like this. So there I am going to glue a ribbon like this. See? This is the shoulder of the back. Here you are going to cut in double fabric and you are going to cut two. One you are going to put interlock. You can add the seam allowance in the same way. In all the patterns you have to add the seam allowance. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.